All right, guys, today got something good. We're shooting 36 grain Barnes flat base varmint grenade bullets. Got a couple water jugs, an old man drink bottle filled with water that we'll shoot. But first, we've got to chronograph these because I'm hoping to hit 3,800 feet per second and I simultaneously shoot a five round group. It's like 95 yards away. Five rounds. Thirty-seven twenty-nine for shot one. Thirty-six sixty-eight. Thirty-seven thirty-three. We're flattening primers, but not terribly. 3771 3732 and the gun's empty bolt lock back let's review these average 3726 extreme spread 102 not great 37 SD, it's like, okay. All right, let's turn that off for a sec. Let's go look at this target. Now that is a group. Come on, people. <laughs> that is accurate. Little bit over. 11 sixteenths. <laughs> so between five eighths and three quarters of an inch group at 90. Um, cold barrel shot was this far right one. The rest of them grouped up right here. It's awesome. That is some good accuracy. Real quick, I wanted to say something about these bullets. Even though they're only 36 grains, um, the bullet itself is long enough. See that? That's basically the magazine length. Um, I was going for 2.25 inches. What I like about that is then you don't have as big of a jump to the lands of your riflings. A lot of really lightweight bullets are super short. Somehow Barnes is able to get these really light but long. I think that really helps. What we've got here is an eight ounce old man drink <laughs> filled with water. But the reason I've got one of these small things is the varmint grenade is supposed to blow up. I think this bullet should expand within a grape. On the internet you can see video of them shooting a grape and it disintegrates. We'll go shoot it. So I'm trying to get all the pieces, but I don't think it's possible. I have never seen that kind <laughs> of expansion. There's only that much water on the rock. The rest of it was vaporized into mist. Like, there's no water anywhere except for that. And this is all I could find at the bottle. That's nuts. Just completely popped the top off. That looks like an exit hole, but maybe that was the entrance. Dead center hit. Let's do a milk jug.
some of the other rounds we've tried dissipates. Oh, <laughs> this round dissipates its energy so quick. Hit right there. There's the jug. I can smell the mist of the rotten milk water. Pretty impressive for such a light bullet. We've got fragmentation holes, it looks like, at the back. So yeah, that bullet was in pieces by the time it hit the back. Let's uh, shoot one more jug. It's the last one I've got. We're gonna shoot one at 200. Okay, here's the jug. There's the truck. It's at 110. See these uh, fences out there? Gonna walk over there and shoot this jug. 229. See you in a few minutes. good of a hit. Looks like the wind, woo, the wind caught some of it. Pushed it to the right. It took me a couple shots. It's not a super easy shot. Pretty good though for 230. All I was doing is resting the gun on the post. Not amazingly stable. Now you see what these bullets can do. Okay guys, just wanted to show you the load. This was for a 24 inch barrel. I went 2.25 um, overall length and in the load they go 2.2. So next time I may um, reduce the overall length and see if I can get this over 2,800 feet per second. Um, the only other powder that has a higher listed max velocity is this. IMR 4198. 3834. There you go, that's the exact load. got a group about like this just going fast not really trying to aim too crazy and it's still a nice small group